And good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us here on Virginia This Morning. I'm Cheryl Miller. And we're starting off this Monday with a recipe that's healthy and tasty. We're going to show you how to turn a piece of salmon, we've got beautiful salmon here, into a delicious blackened delicacy, along with a nice side dish. Local executive chef David Hughes is here with us today. Hi, Chef David. Good morning. Good to see you. We're doing salmon today, blackened yes. salmon. Is mm -hmm. this blackened in the, the tradition that we talk about, blackened with spices, or is this blackened in the uh, way that it's Blackened cooked? with spices. So what we've got is a little spice mix that we make down at the restaurant. It's got a uh, cayenne, uh, cumin, coriander, paprika, chili powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, white pepper, and a little bit of mesquite seasoning in it. So it's got a kick to it. Let's a little get bit. going Not here. Not too bad. So first thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and put a little rub on our salmon. Mm -hmm. Just little a little oil. oil. Our spices on here. Get a nice coating on it. A lot of people are still afraid to cook fish, though, aren't they? Uh, a little bit. I mean, we do quite a lot at the restaurant. Not really because a whole bunch. Because you're cooking. Bunch. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I do a lot of seafood because my wife is, uh, well, she doesn't eat meat, mm -hmm. which is, makes it difficult for me sometimes at home to cook. So we'll get that started there. Now, I noticed she only seasoned one side of that. Yes. On this side, we're going to put a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let that get a nice sear on that side. Because and we don't want to overdo it with the spices. We want to taste them. We don't want right. them to we don't like want them to overpower the, the flavor of the fish itself. So mm -hmm. we just want to bring out the nice flavor, add a little bit of something to it. And with the salmon, I usually cook my salmon medium rare. No, yeah, okay. So I like it a little, uh, not cooked all the way through. I think the flavor is better and the texture is better. Okay, I'd probably like push you to do it a little bit yep. more, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll get our vegetables started over here a little bit. So now this is the time. last week of summer, yes. so we're going to have a little watermelon, which is great. Yes, and we'll be changing our menu here very shortly with mm -hmm. a little bit more seasonal. Mm -hmm. um, so it just depends on what we can get in, season it up a little bit. We'll get now what cooking. did you julienne there together? That is zucchini, yellow squash, red cabbage, and carrots. So the, the last of the summer squashes? Yep, that's it. So we try to use as much local product as we can. Mm -hmm. um, we source a lot of our stuff from, uh, our meats come from Milton's Local Harvest, mm -hmm. and they are from Dinwiddie, so we use our beef and pork products from them. Uh, a lot of our vegetables, we use D and Dave's mushrooms to source out a lot of stuff there. Oh, good. So we get uh, local honey, local cheeses, local vegetables. Uh, local salad greens whenever we can get them in and they're fresh. It's nice for us as a consumer yes. to know it's local and for the chef Absolutely. I'm sure to be able to source locally. So we'll go ahead and start this. This is a little fresh seedless watermelon. So you had to work today chopping didn't you? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> I got down to the restaurant about oh, 6 30 this morning. Oh goodness gracious. It's a little fresh basil. And now do you guys have a little garden at your restaurant? No we are actually on the corner of 14th and Cary Street. Ah. So there's really not much room for us to do anything. Not I even up some, on the roof, huh? No. <laughs> I have some out at my house. Oh, okay. So. so we've added green peppers, red onion, tomato, uh, fresh watermelon, just a little bit of jalapenos. And they should left the seeds in, so there's going to be a little heat there. Yep, a little bit of heat. You can make it spicy or you can leave them out if you don't want it too spicy. And then we'll finish this off with a little bit of lime juice. Now that's beautiful salsa, much better than we would get out of a jar. Yes, I don't <laughs> like to use anything out of the jar if I don't have to. No, and, and plus there's no, no tomatoes in there. So. Right. Because, but, but the eye would see watermelon and think that's a tomato salsa. Yeah, it looks very similar. It gives a nice sweet flavor and it kind of, you know, counteracts the spiciness of the, of the blackened. Mm -hmm. that turned over a little <gasps> that's bit beautiful. There. And the key is when you're cooking a dish or, or planning a dish is, is layering flavors, isn't mm -hmm. it? Right, right. You don't want to have, you know, I, I like the, the vegetables to be nice and uh, simple. Mm -hmm. I don't want to overpower those too much. The flavor of the fish and then hopefully the, you know, the watermelon and the uh, jalapenos will give it a little bit of heat and a little bit of sweetness to it so mm -hmm. it counteracts with the, with the blackening spice. Mm -hmm. And this is nice too, the vegetables, because now a lot of us are used to eating fresh, crispy vegetables mm -hmm. as opposed to mm -hmm. cooking them to death. Yeah, I don't, we don't uh, like to overcook anything down there, so I don't blanch anything and have it cooked ahead of time. It's all cooked fresh right there on the spot. Oh, that's beautiful. So everything is done in-house. Now you're going to layer this on a, um, a rice cake, yes. you're calling it. It's beautiful. It, it, and you said, told, tell me, it's a mixture of a couple of rices. Uh, we use jasmine rice and we also use uh, short grain sushi rice. Mm -hmm. So we cook that just as if you were doing sushi rice, uh, if you were actually going to make sushi. So we cook it for a while and then we season it with a little rice wine vinegar. 
a uh, little mirror and just a little salt and pepper. Mm, and that's well. it. And then we take it and we put it on a sheet tray, let it cool in the walk-in, and we punch it out in squares, and then we'll put it on the plate. While well, this is finishing up, what's the, d the day in the life of a chef like? Uh, it can be long hours. Right now I'm short a few people in the kitchen. I actually have a guy that just got married, and he is uh, taking two weeks off and then coming back and moving to Amsterdam. Oh, my so goodness. He's got a... Uh, nice little trip ahead of him so he's going to go over there and work in Europe for a while I think mm -hmm. a couple years with his wife. Well it seems like the cooking seems to be the new uh, thing to do so maybe mm -hmm. you'll get get someone nice in the kitchen to replace it. I hope it. so and we run you know we're associated with um, uh, Culinary and Virginia College so we run the students through the restaurant as well okay. so they get to come down and do a real world experience while they're doing their uh, uh, class and hopefully they realize that it's not all that you see on the Food Network, and it's a little bit of work, and they still enjoy it. So we'll go ahead and start plating yep, this up. Yeah, you plate this up for us, yeah, so we can see how beautiful this is. We're just going to place our vegetables right on top. And I was asking you uh, that a chef now has to be a bit of an artiste. You have to make the plate look good as well as yes, taste good. Yes, you do. If that's 50% of it is almost the, you know, if you want it to look really nice when you take it to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can do that and it looks beautiful, you one you know, the customer over almost right there on the spot. Mm -hmm. So, but it also has to taste well. We'll go ahead and plate him up here. And that's going to continue to cook a little bit this after will, you take yes. it off as it's well. It's probably a little rare to medium rare right now, mm -hmm. which is the way we like to serve it. But if you'd like it cooked more, certainly come in and ask us and we can do it however you like. We'll place that right on top. Like playing Jenga. <laughs> yes, you have to be careful. Except you're not pulling anything out of this. You're... And then we'll plate a little bit of our salsa right over top. Put that back in there. And, and what are you is, finishing that with? This is just a little balsamic reduction. So it gives a little sweet flavor to it as well. And this is just balsamic vinegar. And we take uh, sugar and just let it cook down so it becomes a syrup. Well, that is a beautiful and plate. It, and then we just take it, finish it off with a little fresh herbs. And voila. And there is our salmon. Chef David, thank you so much. Thank you. It was That's a pleasure. That's beautiful. And, and uh, thanks for coming in today. Absolutely.